Now, if you are going out to dinner or shopping in Durham, you need to know there is a mask requirement that is in place in all public buildings inside right now. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live in Durham. Crystal, what do businesses that, have, that you've spoken to think about this mandate? Well, some had already started requiring masks. Here at Smitten Boutique, they've been requiring their customers wear masks for a week. Now, other businesses feel this is a step backwards, but Mayor Schulz says this is something they need to do. At Smitten Boutique in Durham. Were you looking for anything in particular? Yeah. Owner Nancy McKegg is ready to hand out masks to customers, as she's not letting anyone inside without one. I don't think it's a step backwards. I think it is, in our case, a proactive step. McKegg had already been requiring masks in her boutique since last Monday. She says requiring masks will help keep everyone safe and hopefully keep her business from having to close again. We all kind of have that, like, clenched teeth <laughs> that we're going to have to shut down again. I think it's a small sacrifice to pay for us to be able to stay open and conduct business. But even vaccinated people without symptoms can transmit to those who are vaccinated. Mayor Steve Schul says the city will not be doing any spot checks to see if businesses are enforcing this mandate. But he says people can file complaints. He says businesses could receive a fine of up to $1,000. I can tell you, as the mayor of Durham, this is not something that I want to do. Uh, this is something we need to do. This puts us back where we were before. Rivals barbershop owner Kedron Mims says he's a little concerned that this mandate could discourage his customers from feeling safe about coming to get a haircut. But he also realizes it's necessary too. You use your resources, your resources, time, energy, getting your business back stabilized and it's like with the mass mandate it's like COVID is here to stay and now the mayor says they will go back and reevaluate this mandate in the next one to two weeks but right now they don't know when it will be lifted reporting live in durham crystal price cbs 17 news